Hola amigos. Welcome to another episode of Beer O'Clock Biker Talk in the luxurious Red Pill Biker Studios, also known as the uh, dinette in my RV. So, I have watched a lot of Manosphere stuff, a lot of MGTOW stuff, and I keep coming across this sort of 80-20 principle. It's called the Pareto Principle. It's, it's been around a long time. Uh, you probably stumbled across it, but it basically, when you hear it on in the Manosphere on the MGTOW channels, it says something like uh, 80% of the women want 20% of the men. I know you've heard this. And you hear it in other places, like they'll say, um, uh, you know, 80% of the work that gets done in a factory is done by 20% of the employees. 80% of the sales in any corporation is done by 20% of the salesmen, um, that sort of thing. But it's gotten kind of twisted in MGTOW. And I kept hearing it, and I hear it, and I understand the logic behind it, because there is uh, statistical evidence behind this 80-20 principle. And it's been around a long time. But it finally hit me. This 80-20% in the manosphere is bullshit. It's 20% bullshit and 80% horseshit when it comes to us as men, because it's projecting onto us this ridiculous value that is determined by other people. And it basically goes like this, you know, 80% of the women want 20% of the men, and so what makes you the top 20%? Well, it has something to do with your income. It has something to do with your six-pack. It has something to do with uh, how tall you are. It has something to do with all these different criteria. So it breaks us down into this 20%, the elite of men, and the 80%, the rest of us. And then I thought, who sets this criteria? Now, when you use the Pareto Principle in other areas, like when you were in school, you could have been in the top 20%. Why? If you were an A and B student, you were in the top 20%. It was very easy to figure out. They'd give you a test. The test was worth 100%. If you got 80 or above on that test, and at the end of the semester you had 80 or above percentage, guess what? You were in the top 20% at school, whether that, you know, in college or whatever it may be. If you take all the money in the world and you break it down, you've got... Uh, 80% of the people who fall into a certain category and you got the top 20% of the earners. And there's a value, it's easy, you know, there's only so much money and there's so many percentages on a grade and all these things and it gives you a pretty good statistic. But when it comes to men, when it comes to human beings, that completely and utterly falls apart because what we've done is, the way we've broken ourselves down into the 80-20% is we're following the criteria that have been set up by women. And I'm like, how does that make any fucking sense whatsoever? And you're going to be on a continuous bouncing up and down. Like, get this. If you're six foot or tall, you're in the top 20%. At least when it comes to height. Guess what, guys? I'm in the top 5%. Not just of men in America. Of men in the world. Because I'm six foot three. But when it comes to income, <laughs> believe me, guys, I drop very solidly in the 80%. So here we are, we, we're going to be going up and down and up and down on our value. And here's why it's bullshit. Because it's 20% bullshit, 80% horseshit, 100% nonsense. We're letting other people set our value. So if you want to follow that Pareto principle and put yourself in 20% or 80%, oh, here's the great irony of these people who keep talking about the 20 and 80% in the manosphere. They're going to give you a whole lot of different ways to teach you how to get in that 20%. So you can once again fall into the higher category of what value women put on you. Or anybody else for that matter. I, I don't know. It, it, it catches me as slightly ironic. We're going to go our own way. Now here's a way to get to other people to give you pay more attention to you and give you a higher value. Well, there's... 20% and there's 80% and I'm coming up with a new category and I'm going to call that the category of a free man and who is the free man? those of us who have acknowledged that certain things are outside our power and we're not going to fight them anymore because we don't have any fucking control over them. what else is a free man? 
someone who doesn't let other people determine what their value is. We don't look to other people for validation. We know our own value and we make our own choices. We know our lives have value. And do you know how we know our lives have value? Because we say our lives have value. We say who we are has value. I validate myself. We validate ourselves. I'm not going to look into any percentage or any category or any criteria that has been set up not only by women, but by any other human being on this planet. So take that 80-20, that 20-80 thing and throw it out the freaking window because it's not going to serve any purposes. Guys, life is hard. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be. Adios.